today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool fish. This fish uses three 260s and a little scrap piece for the eyes. So if you want to count the white eyes, that's four 260s. So let's get started. I'll show you what this fish looks like flipped upside down. That's the bottom and the side and the top. So this is what he looks like. And first, we're going to start with the mouth. So for that, we want to take a red 260 and we're going to inflate it the whole way. Now the key to this design is mushy. You want to make sure your design is nice and mushy. So inflate your red 260. It helps if you get a tug first one or two times before you inflate it. Inflate it the whole way and then start letting the air out until you have about four fingers right to there and you want to make sure this is really mushy if it's this bubble is still tight give it a quick little um let the air out like a little puff a quick little puff of air out and so you should have four fingers of a tail and it should be nice and mushy and then what we're gonna do is take a one inch bubble or a cherry tomato sized bubble and we're going to pinch twist it. So you want to roll that around, put your fingers in here, pull this up and turn it. And now if that's not staying for you, you can tie it, but we are going to use this knot again. We're going to use it to tie the rest of the mouth onto. So if you tie it, which I'm doing because mine came out, just give it a little tug so that there's some end left there to tie your other part of your mouth on. And now what we want to do is do the bottom lip, which is right here. And we're going to curve that. So we're going to go down about two fingers and it's going to be bent right in the center right here. So give it a little flick like this so it bends. So two fingers and two fingers like that. And then right up above this finger, we're gonna twist it. And then put a one inch bubble in right after that and pinch twist it. And now what we wanna do is make the top lip of the fish, which is the one that's a little bit bigger right here. And so what we want for that is three fingers and three fingers. So right here and right here, right in the center right here, you're gonna flick it out. So it looks like that. So go up three fingers and down three fingers and then give it a twist. So this is your fish's mouth. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this to this other part in the back of the fish, but it's getting tight. So if it's getting tight, give it a squeeze with, with two hands so it applies even pressure throughout the balloon. So I did that, and now what I'm gonna do is twist. Four fingers should loosely fit underneath the mouth of the fish, if you could see that. And then twist it around. You can, you can flip this bubble under if you want, but the one with the knot on the other side, we're gonna use that. And then the remaining part of the balloon Squeeze that up here and here a little bit. Just give it a little stretch. And then come down to here and we're gonna knot this. You should have a little nub right there, so just kind of squish it down and wrap it around that pinch twist and tie it in a knot. Right to the knot, the nozzle where you started to inflate the balloon. Okay, and next what we're gonna do is put a twist in here but you can wait if you want to so it doesn't come out until you blow up the balloon but I'm gonna I'm gonna inflate it anyway and this is gonna be this part right up here so three balloons are gonna fit in this loop that's behind here so you want to put four fingers in there and then look where the middle is and twist it in the middle they're gonna have like a little, a little, little one here, like a little triangle right there. And then 
four figures are going to fit up here because three balloons are going to go through. And then you can set this aside. And the next balloon we're going to do is the Goldenrod 260. And I'd suggest picking three different colors just until you get the design down. That way you know how to do it before taking on like all the same colors. And for this one, you do want to give your balloon a nice tug, one or two tugs, before you inflate it. And for the 260 golden rod, we're going to blow it up the whole way to the end. And then let some air out. This one just gets twisted a little in the back, so you don't have to put a tail on it. Just let some air out so it's nice and mushy. And then tie it. And then what you're going to do is tie this end to this end. And then try to even that air out. And then you come down here and you hold it like this and find the mouth of your fish. This, this is probably the upper lip of my fish. You have to remember <laughs> where you put it. Uh, and this is the bottom lip. And so this is my extra bubble right, let's see. This is my extra bubble right here. So what you want to do, this, this one should be, this bubble right here should be up by the top lip. So the lip the top lip is the one that's longer that you curved at the beginning. And this is the bubble that's in the back of the head. Let me show you that. These are the lips and then this red one is the one I'm talking about. So find the one that's not curved. So this is, I mean, it might naturally, cur naturally curve a little. And then this one's going to come up by the top lip. So these are the lips. This is the top one. Um, bubble that's right behind the lips. Instead of having that on the bottom, if it did fall to the bottom, you want to push it up towards the longer lip. And then take your 260 after you tied it together, and we're going to tuck it right through here. Tuck it almost the whole way through and then you're going to flip this over and pull it through this loop and then don't pull it the whole way. You want to pick up this loop and also tuck it through the back loop and just slide it up and see how more air is getting into this side. Now you didn't actually put any twists in the yellow goldenrod one. So all you have to do is squeeze this other side and it will fill this out. You wanna to try to keep the air even in these and it will tend to go um, sinking at where the tail end of the balloon is just because you inflated it here. So you do have to probably squeeze the air to the other side. And now we have this which looks like kind of like a cold duck but you want to pull this up farther to make the fish and then pull this back part up and i don't like how skinny this is so i'm gonna try to pull some of this air or squeeze some of the air out into the other part and we're going to make a tail for the fish so to make the tail you want to go down about you want this up towards the top. You want about three fingers in here for the fin. And then back here you want about three fingers. And so the tail of the fish is going to be right after these three fingers. Now you can add another balloon onto here, but I'm just showing you how to make it out of three 260s right now. And see how much air is in there? If I'm going to loop my tail, it's probably going to pop because there's too much air. So I'm going to measure three fingers down and then squeeze this bubble down to let some of the pressure out as I twist this together. So it's like this. So that forced air back down so it's even in both of these. 
and then I'll loop this. And then you just take this down, push it down like this, twist it in half, turn each loop each different way. And you can take the mushier of the two bubbles or the smaller one if you have one and tuck it through these two loops just to hold it so it doesn't come untwisted. So now it's secure and you have this. Now, the last 260, not counting the eyes, see how my lips like slid down, the fishies kind of down? You can tuck, you can pull and tuck this yellow one so that it's up higher like this. But you do need room for this top thing. And you can bend this up a little too. So you have this. And if you want, you can push the mouth up a little too. So you have this. And now what we're going to do is take the lime green 260. So you have this. And we're going to stretch it a couple times. Inflate it the whole way again. This one you need to have enough slack to get the whole way around. So we're going to start letting the air out and go squeeze this down to five fingers of the tail. Not four, you need five because you need a little more slack in this lime green one for the fins. So you have that and then make sure it's mushy. Let an extra little puff out if you need to. Tie it and then what we're going to do is start at the tail of the balloon and twist it around. Take the knot and twist it around there and leave go. And again, you're going to want a three finger space. So whatever you have to do, right in between there, which will happen naturally anyway, but <laughs> just putting it in. And then you want to lay this down until you get to this crisscross right here. And when you get there, you're going to put a little lime green pinch twist right wrapped around that. So I'm just going to lay this down to this pinch or to this little X, center of this little X. And see where it is and squeeze your lime green one and twist it. And then make a little tiny cherry tomato size bubble. It can be smaller if you want. Pinch twist that. And then you're just going to flip it around this little X right there and now the fins on the bottom are going to be a little smaller let me show you because they're going to get tucked in right on the side and you want to have enough of the balloon left to make the top fin a little bit larger so what we're going to do is wrap the fins around two fingers see how tight this is getting so i'm going to just give it a little squeeze here and here to even out the pressure, wrap it around two fingers. And take this, take this bubble after you wrap it around this pinch twist on the bottom to secure it. Do the same thing for the other fin. Around two fingers. And I have this mess here where, let me show you where it's sticking up. I'm just gonna pull up this pinch twist. It's so hard to show you in here. Um, going to wrap this around. I'm just taking the remaining part of the balloon and just wrap it around the pinch twist. You can wrap the loop around. You can wrap, wrap uh, <laughs> can't say it. Wrap the uninflated part around. Whatever you can wrap around there to secure these two loops on the bottom. And then when you have those, take them sideways and we're going to tuck them right in the side there on each side so they'll take this one up and I'll tuck it. You can do it later it doesn't matter because we didn't really adjust our fish yet but just to let you know. And now see this? This is where the remaining part of this balloon is going to go. Up in between the eyes and down on the bottom so you feed it up through and then you have this and you're going to tuck it between the eyes. Now you can, if you want to, if you have your little eyes made already, you can tuck the eyes in there. But I did not make them yet because I was going to show you how I do that. Okay, so these, the remaining part of the lime green 260 gets tucked down through 
and it lays between these goldenrod ones. So you just shove it down there. And then it gets tucked under the red 260. So tuck it under. Give it a little tug. Now it's gonna be too long because we need a fin. So you don't have to, like you can pull some up here and you can squeeze this down. You just wanna take a little nub at the end or it can be a little micro bubble if that's what you have left. Wrap it around and you should have your knot where you started the lime green 260 right back there to tie it. We can just tie that together. And then I'm gonna shove this in between this one, um, the lime green one in between the two golden rods, just so it sits nicely in there. And then I'm gonna pull this thin bubble up and twist it around. Right like that. And that, that will sit fine because it has this bubble and that bubble, like the red and the golden rod, right in front and behind it, so it doesn't really have to have a pinch twist to, to secure it. So this is our fish now, and if you need to adjust your side fins, see this one fell out. This lime green fin on the bottom kind of goes between the red and the golden rod one, so you can tuck those up now if you want to. And so you have this, and then the white um, 260 scrap is for eyes, and you're going to inflate that to three or four fingers, however big you want the eyes. This one's about three fingers, and then you squeeze it to separate in the middle. Just look at it and try to separate that air to get it even, and then twist it around a couple times so it doesn't come undone. And if you do inflate it, leave yourself some slack here at the beginning of the white 260 so you have room to tie it. So I'm just gonna hold this, tuck this under as I hold this knot, give it a tug, tie it on the top. Like you can do once or twice, I gave that a good tug. Take your scissors and you cut it off right up above the knot. Make sure you don't cut below the knot because the eyes will deflate. So you have this and then I'm gonna squeeze that in half, right like this. And then my eyes are going to sit right behind this lime green 260. So I have to pick that up. Pick up the lime green 260. It's kind of hard to do it right in front of the camera. And I mean, <laughs> these eyes are a little smaller or maybe they're a little too tight in the middle. But they will give my fish personality. So you can use bigger eyes. You know what else you can do? They turned out just fine. You can use a five inch white round, which would look pretty cool. And now for this, you can give them personality by moving these eyes up or down. You can move the mouth up a little. You can, I, I think what I did on the other one is I tucked the, the golden rod one in a little bit more on the sides. And I brought this lime green one out towards the front a little bit more, like to give him a forehead. You can do that. You can keep it tucked in. I think it looks kind of cute like this, honestly. I'll pull these golden rods down a little bit. I'll bring my eyes up front a little bit. And then, to draw the eyes in, you just want to take a black Sharpie. And see right here? Just rest your hand on the balloon and go around in a circle. Or an oval. It's actually an oval. And if you want to, you can put like some white shine in the eyes. I don't have my heading marker right around, but usually I'll put like a little white dot right in the center. Like he's looking at you. And you put that dot like maybe up a little higher than the center, but towards the middle if you want it to look like your fish is looking at you. And what I'll do, I'll include a picture of that at the beginning of the video so you can see. I'll do that after we're done here. And here is your fish. And if you want, you can put little eyebrows on them. I'll put little eyebrows here. You don't have to, but it might look cute with little eyebrows. <laughs> And there is your little flippy fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. 
And I am now teaching all levels of, of courses. You can see my website, the links right below the video. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.